In the world of dinosaurs, there were many bizarre forms and adaptations. From huge sickle-shaped talons to depth-shaped beaks and head ridges. Nagosaurus, Middle Cretaceous. About 105 million years ago in West Africa. Region of modern Niger. This sauropod had an unusually wide and short snout, similar to a vacuum cleaner. Its square beak was lined with hundreds of small teeth, arranged in rows and quickly replaced as they wore down. It is assumed that he cut down low-growing vegetation, biting it literally like a lawnmower. It had a relatively light and graceful build compared to other sauropods. Carnotaurus Carnotaurus is known for its tiny forelimbs, which may have been even smaller than those of Tyrannosaurus rex. On his head were two short horns above his eyes, giving him a very demonic appearance. The jaws were equipped with teeth designed for quick bites and tearing of flesh, and the body was flexible and athletic, with powerful hind limbs for fast running. Carnotaurus lived during the late Cretaceous period, about 72 million years ago in Argentina. Pegamastax This tiny dinosaur, about 2 feet long, had a strange combination of fangs and beak. The beak and leaf-shaped teeth indicated herbivory, but the presence of sharp fangs may indicate omnivory or even some defensive behavior. Due to its miniature size and special teeth, Pegamastax is included in the list of the most unusual herbivorous dinosaurs. Approximately 200 million in Africa. Dracorex. The name itself translates as Draco Rex of Hogwarts, inspired by the Harry Potter universe. His skull had numerous spikes and protrusions, creating a truly dragon-like appearance. It is most likely a type of Pachycephalosaurus, although there is a hypothesis that it is simply a young form of Pachycephalosaurus stigmolicus. Late Cretaceous about 68 million ago in North America. Halscarpter. Discovered in Mongolia, this small dinosaur, about 3 feet long, is from the group of dromaeosaurids to which the famous raptors belong. Its neck was very long and flexible, and its forelimbs were flipper-shaped, indicating a semi-aquatic lifestyle, which is not typical for raptors. This suggests that among the fleet-footed Coalurosaur predators there could also have been semi-aquatic forms that hunted aquatic animals. Late Cretaceous, about 70 million years ago in Mongolia, Anzu. Anzu is a member of the Ovaraptorosaurs, which are sometimes called Dino parrots due to their beak-like mouth and crests. It had a large tooth-replaced beak, a crest on its head, and relatively long forelimbs with three claws. It is quite likely that this character had plumage. Once the measures are quite impressive for a parrot morphology, up to 11 feet long and about 5 feet tall. Anzu lived 66 million years ago in North America. Spinosaurus Although it is widely known, its features never cease to amaze. Spinosaurus was gigantic, larger than Tyrannosaurus rex in length, and had a huge sail on its back elongated spinous processes of the vertebrae, up to 5 feet high. Its snout and teeth were crocodile-like, adapted for catching fish. Recent studies indicate that Spinosaurus could have led a semi-aquatic lifestyle, hunting in the rivers and swamps of Africa. Spinosaurus lived 100 million years ago in North Africa. Some dinosaurs, like Halscaraptor or Spinosaurus, switched from their usual land lifestyle to living near water. Many of the bizarre shapes show dramatic departures from normal dinosaur appearance, 
be it the enormous claws of Therizinosaurus or the ridges and growths on the skulls of various species. From a group that was almost entirely carnivorous, lineages of herbivores, such as Therizinosaurus, and omnivores, such as Overaptorosaurus, emerged, which in itself is quite surprising. Amargosaurus This is a relatively small, long-necked dinosaur from the early Cretaceous period of South America. Its main miracle is the double row of very tall spinous processes on the neck and back, which could form two sails or a supporting structure for the skin or horny growth. Such spears look extremely futuristic and there is no complete consensus on exactly how they were covered and what they served for. Thermoregulation, or demonstration, or protection. Ergosaurus lived during the early Cretaceous period, about 130 million years ago in Argentina. Microraptor. A small dinosaur up to three feet long, from the group of Dromaeosaurids. It had not two, but actually four wings. In addition to the wings on the forelimbs, there were also long flight feathers on the hind legs. Apparently could glide from branch to branch, making it an early example of the development of flight among dinosaurs. Microraptor lived approximately 125 million years ago in China. Pachycephalosaurus These dinosaurs had an extremely thick cranial dome a strong cap up to one foot high. There is a version that the male staged exhibition head fights or demonstrations, butting heads together like mountain sheep. With their formidable helmet, Pachycephalosaurus stood out among other herbivores, although their details remain unknown, values remain a matter of debate. The animal lived during the late Cretaceous period, 66 million years ago in North America. Shunosaur a small, about 36-foot-long sauropod from the middle Jurassic of China that had a club at the end of its tail. This is an extremely rare trait for long-necked dinosaurs. Typically, tail clubs are known from ankylosaurs, but such protection is almost never found in sauropods. This defensive adaptation makes Shinosaura a truly unusual member of the long lineage of sauropods. Shinosaur lived about 170 million years ago in China. Heterodontosaurus A tiny, up to four foot long, early ornithopod with an unusual set of teeth, incisors, fangs, and molars, arranged in different ways, hence the name heterod lizard. The fangs could serve either for interspecific competition or for processing tougher food. Its jaw structure greatly distinguishes Heterodontosaurus from later, classical ornithopods. He lived approximately 200 million years ago in South Africa. Epidendrosaurus and Sensorioptorix Both names are used to describe a small tree-climbing dinosaur with very long toes on its forelimbs, which likely helped it cling to trunks and branches on the forelimbs and, probably, parts of the body there were feathers, possibly forming a small membrane, which indicates the development of a gliding type of flight. Demonstrates the early stages of the evolution of aerial adaptations in small coalurosaurs. Place of residence 160 million years ago. China, in Jensha, the name translates as first giant. This is one of the earliest known sauropodomorphs to reach truly large sizes, and it lived already in the late Triassic, early Jurassic. Various estimates give an age of about 210 million years. Shows that gigantism and long-necked dinosaurs arose earlier than previously thought. The bone structure indicates accelerated growth, which is unusual for the earliest sauropodomorphs. He lived about 210 million years ago in South America. Kiansosaurus Pinocchio Rex 
It is a theropod from the Tyrannosaurid family, similar in appearance to Tyrannosaurus rex, but with a longer and narrower snout. Due to its unusual elongated muzzle, it received the unofficial nickname Pinocchio rex. Illustrates that even among the kings the Tyrannosaurids were strange forms in their own way, adapted to different prey and, probably, different hunting tactics. This predator lived 70 million years ago in China. Dinosaurs inhabited every possible type of environment, from dense forests and swamps to sea coasts. During the process of evolution, different groups developed similar features, for example, thickened cranial armor, long claws, crests, sometimes independently of each other. With each new discovery, we find forms that break the stereotypical ideas about the classic appearance of a dinosaur. Thus, in addition to the already known eccentrics like Therizinosaurus or Deinocyrus, the world of Mesozoic lizards is rich in other rare, sometimes completely exotic forms. They help us understand how creatively and sometimes unexpectedly evolution came up with ways to adapt to the conditions of prehistoric Earth. Thank you for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. And also press the bell so as not to miss new and interesting videos from the channel Real Unreal.